people met for the first time today, and after a much-needed transplant, the pair now share a great deal in common. It is a story of kindness, caring, and service. Cordell Wright brings us that story tonight at 6. Cordell, good evening. Good evening, Brian and Andrea. A phrase we all heard growing up is that sharing is caring. That means Jill Pinkelman is the epitome of caring after she made the decision to donate her kidney to a military veteran in need. This is the story of how she went from stranger to lifesaver. Doing this for veterans, they give up their time and sometimes their lives for us and our country that they shouldn't have to suffer. Jill hasn't served herself, but she has friends and family who have, including her father. Her donation journey began after reading about donor outreach for veterans, also known as Dove, in an article in Women's Day magazine. Something just sort of clicked after reading that. I mean, I thought about it for a month afterward and then finally just told my husband, I said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check out this organization and I'm going to sign up. Within six months of signing up, Jill had found a match and met with Dr. Sajit Sakpal for surgery. She had no recipient on her side. It's not like she was giving for someone in her family, one of her friends, to get a kidney. It's simply just going forward and donating a kidney uh, to whoever benefits from it. He recognizes the sacrifice that Jill made with this decision. It's selflessness. She wants to give something without getting anything back. She recognizes efforts and dedication that's put in by veterans. And so she, you know, finds a way to give back. Um, it's exemplary. I mean, it's beyond inspirational. The recipient is New Jersey resident Bud Springer who, similar to Jill's father, is a former member of the National Guard and now a grandfather of nine, soon to be ten. Seeing each other for the first time and touching, feeling the interaction, you know, we're, we're connected for the rest of our lives. Got his time with his family and uh, his life back and how well he feels. And I think it's a celebration not only for him a year out, but also for Jill to what she has uh, accomplished. After speaking with those involved with this breathtaking moment shared between Bud and Jill, everyone shared one key takeaway. They want to hear more stories just like this. To be able to get the word out that yes, there are people that are in need, you can make a difference. The hope is that at least one of you watching this at home will hear Jill's story and be inspired to make a difference yourself. You can learn more about the Dove program as well as the Paired Kidney Exchange program by following the links with this story on the Dakota News Now website.